What's up everyone? My name is Morsi and if you're new to this channel, I encourage others to live with effortless ease. And today, I would like to remind you how solitude is a necessary part of the awakening process. You will not awaken if you cannot find comfort in being with yourself, being alone with yourself, being in stillness, in silence with yourself. You see, the term lonely, when I think about it, it makes me feel like a victim. The term lonely, it makes me feel as though me, there's something wrong with me just being alone that I need to be around other people in order to feel my best. It makes me feel as though I am not enough. And I like to remind myself, whenever I tell myself I, I'm feeling lonely, I like to question that, question that thought, right? Because we don't need to believe every single thought that comes to mind, like the first thought that comes to mind. It's important to recognize too, how much the media and, and culture and things around us, how much they influence what we think and what we perceive. What's wrong with being alone? What's wrong with being in solitude? You know, I, I, want, I see movies and I see ads and they make it seem as though because you are alone in solitude, that all automatically means you are lonely. No, you are not lonely, you are powerful. And this time in your life is a gift, a gift for you to recognize the power you already hold. When I speak to you in this video, this is you speaking to yourself, a reminder to you that you being alone is what is going to help you recognize your power. You know, lately there's been so much going on in this world, it's 2020 the era of great exposure, 2020 vision, right? We are all going through some form of awakening, right? For many of us, it started with uh, COVID-19. Maybe others, it may have started with Kobe's death, right? And his daughter, Gianna. Some of us, it may have started with um, this George Floyd riots, whatever it might be. For me, it was just everything. It started straight in the beginning of January and slowly I felt this, this awakening within me where I was questioning the world around me, questioning the universe, questioning this dream experience. And throughout all of this time, I recognized that there were so many perspectives being thrown my way, especially when I found myself on social media or especially when I found myself, you know, I'll, especially when I found myself coming across the news or something like that. It was always someone else's thoughts flowing into my mental field and I would think it's my own. And I would begin to get so overwhelmed with these ideas and these thoughts that it, it would feel like it's draining my energy. I noticed that lately I hop onto social media and I automatically feel my energy being drained out of me. And all of a sudden in my mental field is just opinions, opinions, opinions. Not even sure if they're my own, right? We, we, I've talked about pendulums, an independent thought entity that is that comes from a group of people. So a group of people, they all have this one thought and this pendulum is created. And, and the pendulum may not necessarily need those people anymore, but the pendulum is created simply by those thoughts. When I'm around groups of people, when I'm on social media, when I go past any sort of media site, like the news, the newspaper, whatever it might be, those are all pendulums. Those are all thought forms that are not necessarily your own. And they most definitely drain you of your energy because that is what pendulums do. They take your energy and they give you back what you think is, is a, 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 a form of like a satisfaction, a satisfying uh, new thought, a satisfying new idea. So that's why it's very important when you find yourself alone, right? 
focus on how you're feeling how things make you feel without having to go and, and read what foods you should eat without having to go and wreck it and, and think about what vitamins you should take i'm not saying that those things aren't going to work for you but it's important that you sit back and without needing in a guide an external guide you start to learn to feel within for your internal guide you know it's important to recognize that, hey, maybe you do like some foods that are deemed super healthy, but when you eat it, you don't feel good. It's important that you recognize that. You know, for me, I'm recognizing how much thoughts and how much opinions really get in the way of my own awakening process. And for me, I feel like I'm at a point in my, in my period and era of solitude where it's important for me to put the phone down. And I know for many of you, it's like, duh, you have to. But sometimes, right, uh, the phone, the social media, they're like pendulums, right? The social media, it's its own world. You open it up and you're an entirely new world. And when you step out of it, you're back into what we call the real world, right? And so it can really get confusing at times. That's why many people end up feeling anxiety and depression and they feel overly fearful from being on the phone all the time, right? Because as I said before, you know, the media has its own agenda. The media has its choice of what it wants to show us, right? And, and when we see something, especially with these George Floyd riots, when we see these things, they lower our vibration they lower our, our vibration into fear. And when you're in such a low vibration into fear, right? You begin to believe everything you hear, everything you see, and you forget about the power within you. You forget that you create your own reality. You forget that your thoughts, they shift you to the reality that you want to be, that you have control. You forget that no one can take your power. No one can take your peace. No one can take your presence. That's all on you. It's important that when you're in solitude, you recognize that solitude is not social media. Solitude is not necessarily texting your friends all day. <laughs> solitude, solitude is not necessarily watching movies all the time. Recognize that solitude means that you're with yourself. Maybe you go out into nature, listen to the birds, sing, Listen to the wind blowing against the trees as the leaves rustle. Listen, listen to silence. Silence has been my, my channel into presence. Silence has been my mentor. Silence is so underrated, as is awareness. And through silence, I recognize the voice of truth. I recognize my inner self. Through silence, I'm energized and I'm up, I'm awake, I'm ready. I notice the difference between the days I'm on social media too much and the days where I'm like, none today. There's a huge difference. You see, as we awaken, our consciousness, it begins to free its identification with physical forms and mental forms, right? This is the remembering right the truth of who we are pure consciousness presence right being that being within us right it's remembering that everything around us it's it's not entirely real these forms it's not us this body my name my story beliefs it's not truly me you know i made a video yesterday or not yesterday but my latest video I just had these thoughts in my mind. I grab my phone and I just make videos. So, and what I was speaking about was how I noticed how beliefs only strengthen our ego. Our ego is our false identity. It's who we think we are. Our ego is the complete opposite of pure consciousness. The complete opposite of, of presence and, and being, our inner being. And the more we hold on to belief, our consciousness is identifying with a mental form. A mental form is a belief. Thoughts are beliefs. 
That's why I always encourage to observe your thoughts because they're not your own. When you're on social media, observe your thoughts because they're not your own. They're only draining you, as I said before. These are the things that you come to in solitude, right? So a reminder, solitude is, is really stepping away from all sorts of thought forms. <laughs> That's really my main goal for you today and recognize that power within you, it's there. It's there, it's waiting for you to recognize it. And not just you, but it's your consciousness needs to recognize itself. So the more you are attaching on to thoughts, ideas, and beliefs, the more you're attaching on to material items, this idea that when you get something, when you receive something, you'll be happy, the more you do that, the less you're going to awaken. So when you find yourself in solitude, at least you know, you may not feel it yet, right? You may not be at the point where you're feeling it. Maybe intellectually and mentally, you know, yes, yes, Marcy, I know I'm, I'm supposed to love being alone, but right now I don't. Just, just remember, just remember that awakening, it, it's when you are withdrawing from mind forms. You're withdrawing from forms and you're recognizing the stillness within you. That's what solitude is for. That's what this part in your awakening process is for, you know? And listen, when the time is right, when, when life determines you're ready to be around a whole bunch of people all the time and, and, and get back, you know, even if it is now and maybe one day you're with a whole bunch of people and the other day you're alone, you know, everybody's process is different. Recognize that you must be able to feel that sense of ease and peace and presence with yourself in order to truly enjoy being with other people. Because if you're with other people and you're trying to awaken it's really just going to get in the way. It's really just going to be a distraction. So it's important that you recognize that you must love you first. You must practice that self-love. You must become aware enough to recognize when you are attaching onto mental forms, when your consciousness is identifying with mental forms and physical forms so that you can withdraw, your consciousness can withdraw from that. You can free yourself and allow yourself to be right you know words are are created for expressing ourselves in this world much of what i talk about it has more to do with being in a much higher dimension being in a much higher state of consciousness and those places you know that's when you're feel you're more feeling you know so it's important that you know my words it's kind of like what buddha says it's it's a finger pointing to the moon don't get caught up with my finger, right? Recognize, don't get caught up with the finger. Don't get caught up with these words. Recognize that these words are only a minuscule uh, way of expressing the power that you hold, the depth that's within you. So enjoy it, love it, and you know, remain present and remain aware. And remember, Solitude, solitude is your best friend. Silence is your mentor. And stillness is what you practice every day so you could feel and hear that voice of truth within you. So once again, my name is Morrissey. If you enjoyed this video, check out the two on the screen. And this is how my friends, you live with effortless ease. Until next time, peace.